is Jenny from Homestead Corner and they had a good sale on baby bella mushrooms so I grabbed a couple packs so I could get them dehydrated because we ran out I have some canned ones but I like to have the dehydrated on hand as well so we're gonna go ahead and get these washed up because they're kind of dirty in here so I don't like to give them too much water usually but these ones are kind of dirty so we're just gonna wash these up real quick and we will get started okay so I've got my mushrooms all washed up and this is really quite simple I'm just gonna I love these baby Bellas they're so tasty and delicious I'm just gonna slice these about an eighth of an inch and they are just they dry up really nice um, they they do really really well so that is about your thickness right there and so I'm just gonna I put some paper towels in the back because I had to wash these I want to get as much um, of the water off as I can before we put these in so I'm just gonna keep slicing these little darlings and throwing them on that paper towel so we can pat those all as dry as possible before we start to get them in the dehydrator these are so great to toss into you can rehydrate them they're great to put on pizzas um, any anything you normally cook mushrooms with take that piece off and uh, they're great to toss in soups stews casseroles they're really nice to have on hand. They don't take up a lot of space um, in the pantry. I like the canned mushrooms as well, but those all the jars take up a lot more space than this. So you can put a ton of these mushrooms in one jar, which is lovely. So I am going to go ahead and keep slicing these dolls. And I will bring you back when we're ready to go in the dehydrator okay so I just cover these over with the paper towel once I've all sliced and just help get as much water out as I can just kind of pat them dry and they don't have to be perfect but it just saves time in the dehydrator if it's not soaking wet so we have that and then all our mushrooms are all cut up and ready to go and I am just going to start loading trays and these are really easy to do you want to try to get them out in a thin layer they can touch each other that is perfectly okay um, you just want to and if they're overlapping a tiny bit that's okay but you're not going to be able to get them too high on here because you know there's not a lot of room in these trays There we go. Get these babies filled right up. All right. So once you have your trays filled, we're just going to pop them right in the dehydrator. Okay, so once we have all our trays filled, we're just going to start up by dehydrator. And I do these on a hundred about 125 and we're just gonna turn this baby on and let it go and we'll let it go all night we'll check it in the morning and see how it is okay so these took about 13 hours to dry as you can see they're all dried up and they're nice and uh, crispy crispy dry you don't want them to have any moisture left in them. So these are ready to, ready to jar up or put them in whatever container that you like to store I like them to in. keep mine in a glass jar. And um, anything, the one I will keep just with the cap on and I won't seal it because I'll be in and out of the jar and it doesn't make much sense to seal it. But if I have more than one jar, um, I would vacuum seal them just to keep them nice and airtight and uh, so they'll last a lot longer and these any type of mushrooms works like this 
and it works really well so and it, you can put a lot of mushrooms in a small container and they will last and last they're all dehydrated and that's it for this video if you like this video give us a thumbs up subscribe we'll see you in the next video bye